What is going on everybody? It is the morning of a Sunday. We are out pike fishing at the old Scandy and a couple other sleds. And like I said, we're gonna be chasing some pike. I've got Caleb with me today. He's gonna be riding on the back and you know, about a hour ride out to the lake, a bunch of tip ups, lots of people. So we're gonna get after it. We're gonna get riding and catch you when we're setting up. Made it to the lake everybody a little bit of a longer ride had to go through some deep snow and kind of some tragic news the old backpack fell off and all the rod tips of my rods broke off even the old custom one so rest in peace to the rods good thing we brought a lot of tip-ups that's what we're all doing right now setting up some tip-ups Got the tent to uh, warm up a little bit and I'm gonna make uh, some people some coffee if they want some. And we're gonna get to flag watching and hopefully pull in some big pike today. So stay tuned. Probably one of the sadder moments of my fishing career here. All the rods are broken. Nothing was salvageable. The custom one. At least it still says big chungus right here. I'm trying to focus on that, but yeah. She'll be a she'll be a desk item now. So yeah, but we've got tip ups, so we'll be all right. We'll catch some fish today. She's a little heavy and just kind of go light on this to begin with and then once you get the feel of it Stay right there Sean. I'm gonna punch it So, so what, what do I do? Do I gotta put it down? Uh, it's, it's, when it's up, it's ready. You can you need to kill it, you hit it down. Is this on? Just gotta push that. It? She'll start, yeah. Hold it? Or do I just press it? Hold it, push it down. There you go. And it's already in gear, it's already in forward. You just kind of hit the throttle and Red, who'd you just let ride your sled, man? That would be my best friend, Caleb. First time on a sled. Probably a good choice of mine to let him ride. Super wide. And he probably won't get into too much trouble. He's figuring it out. Yeah, give it a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Look, Bayon! 
<laughs> First fish of the day, baby. Caleb got him on the twitch jig. Well, thank you guys for waking me up. Yeah. What we got there, Caleb? We got a very small pike, but it's a pike. Yeah, it's a couple nuggets worth. It's very cold out here, but it's worth it. And he got this on a, uh, yeah, hopefully get some more. He actually had a tip, uh, twitch jig on his tip up, a little pink, pink hair twitch jig and, you know, some herring and he got the job done. First fish of the day. Good stuff, sir. <laughs> We're on. Can we get the ice a little bit more? I'm gonna try and keep pinching. Nice. Oh yeah. Good head cheeks on this. Woo! Yeah. Nice. Bigger. Nice. Bike down. Alright, we're gonna disembash this guy and uh, get her set back up. Thanks for fighting, buddy. I told you guys it was here. I told you. Ember, just Stand grab the gills. It. Don't grab my heavy. Just punch in hard because it's That's a little slippery. Yeah. I guess. Not my fish. Oh, it's got my fish. Oh, Woo! It's a <laughs> fish shot! Yeah. What was this? 40, 40, 43. 40 me, me and M here, we just reeled this guy out of the hole. There. Woo! We just pulled that up together. 43 inch fish. That's a big mama. That's a trophy here in Alaska. And M got it with me. Heck yeah. That's, that's a big fish. She's heavy too. The picture. Yeah. I got a video. Come on my side so we can get the yeah. actual. That's a much top, top of the lip there. The back of the. Oh, she's bigger. Oh, yeah. She's oh, bigger, Dad. Is it 40, what is it? 45. 45. 45 Woo! on the dot. Yeah. 45 on the dot. Oh my god! Re Remeasurement 45. 45 inch bike. Your father's not gonna Woo! You did that! <laughs> you didn't even want to touch it. Look at that. That's the oh, biggest amazing. pike in Alaska. 45 inch pike. Remeasurement. Got her cleaned off, got her gilled, and we brained her. But uh, yeah, we're gonna give this to M. We actually know a personal friend. He's gonna get us the official trophy patch for this. Em, come on over. Come over here. This is yours. This is uh, Em. She's Chris's daughter. And uh, yeah, this is this is the trophy pike for her. It's gonna be a lot of a lot of pike nuggets for her and her fam. And uh, she's gonna have a trophy certificate. Well, you've only been in Alaska for what? Two weeks? Two weeks in Alaska. <laughs> she's already got a trophy pike. Good stuff. Okay, just to give you guys kind of another comparison here, these are the two fish me and Caleb caught earlier, and that's the big mama me and M got. But these are probably 20 inch plus fish. This is a 45. Big boy. Well, you guys, uh, we got everything packed up. Caleb's all geared up. I just gotta throw my helmet on and then we're ready to go. But 45 inch pike. Me and a seven-year-old little lady pulled that thing up. But we've got about an hour ride back to the truck, maybe. We'll definitely talk about the bike more. And my dad's gonna go get it certified tomorrow. So me and M can get some certification patches and the letter. And uh, yeah, trophy bike, baby. But uh, we're gonna ride back and we're probably gonna be tired when we get to the truck. So probably won't film too much, but uh, thank you guys for watching for now. And freaking subscribe, baby. Hey, Armic YouTube viewers, 
I am on my way to Alaska Fish and Game, as you probably will know by this point in time. Uh, Rhett and Ember landed a monster fight yesterday, so uh, I'm going to go in and get it measured and weighed and make it official that it is actually a trophy fish in Alaska. And what they do here is they print you out a very nice certificate and get you a patch. So we're also going to find out if it can be shared because uh, Rhett was helping uh, Ember uh, pull the, the fish up and uh, so it was really a joint effort so we'll see how that's handled today. Um, if they can't do that then uh, Rhett has graciously said that he would forfeit, forfeit any of his, um, I guess, ties to that fish and let uh, Ember have it. So um, it's just a, an amazing gesture on, on his part. So uh, stay tuned. We'll let you know what happens. All right, we made it to Fish and Game, and we are here with Parker. He is the area biologist for the Pike program, and he is getting us the official measurement. What do you think, Parker? I'm showing 45 and a half. Oh my gosh, that's a little bit longer than what we thought it would be. So nice one. That is awesome. These big ones are especially hard, and when they're frozen, they're even harder. So right now Parker is pulling out the cleathro, which is a bone, and he's going to be able to tell us the age of this fish at some point in time. Is that something we do today or is that something that's got to be sent into the lab? Uh, I'll do it. Okay. Um, probably in my kitchen. All right. I'll boil it up, get all the flesh off, let it dry for a day or two, and count the rings. Like a tree, huh? Yep. That's cool. All right, Parker, what's that? What's that girl weigh? 21.1 pounds. So, as you guys just saw, my dad took that big old pike to fish and game. Huge shout out to Parker. Um, he's a good family friend of ours. He's the lead pike program management guy here for Alaska. Um, and he actually took the time out of his day to be able to get those measurements for us. Um, but as you saw, that pike was 55 and a half inches and 21.1 pounds. And I measured the girth as well, which was 18 inches. So just overall, such a big fish. Um, really exciting to see that. And we were able to get the certificates and the patch for Miss M. And that's just really cool. Um, me and Caleb actually looked up the youth trophy fish, which is 35 inches and 10 pounds. So not only did M get the youth certified pike, she got the adult certified pike. So just absolutely blew both of them out of the water and was able to get that. As well, one of the earlier clips that you guys saw, I did have to kill that fish. Alaska actually has a kill order on pike. They are not a native species to us. Um, they are actually an invasive species and, you know, I don't really like killing fish. Um, I mean, I will eat some smaller pike. Pike is actually a really tasteful eating fish. Um, it's just like chicken. I, you know, dip it and barbecue sauce and Chick-fil-A sauce and it's actually really good. Um, but unfortunately we had to kill that big mama and um, it's kind of like a yin yang scenario when it comes to killing a big pike like that. Like yes, bigger fish tend to have the genes to produce bigger offspring fish, but they're also such a big fish that they're eating quite a bit. So they're actually eating a lot of the smaller fish and it's actually stunting the growth of the population in a ways to have it there. But uh, we did have to pull it out of the water and we gave it to Chris and his family. 
um, after we got the official measurements. But as you guys saw, it was such a crazy day to begin with. Um, it was my first time snow machining with someone riding on the seat behind me, or the two-seater that I have. And that was Caleb's first time ever being on a snow machine. Not only riding on the back, but he actually rode mine a little bit as well. And that was the first time for Miss M being on a snow machine and riding on the back. It's about an hour 15-ish snow machine ride to the lake that we went to, a very remote area here in Alaska. And, you know, it's, even when you're driving, it's just bumpy and brutal. And, you know, I was sore for probably two, two, two three days going on now. Um, so huge shout out to everyone that went and just kind of stuck with it and got through all of that riding. And, um, yeah, one of the unfortunate things, too, as you guys saw, was my rods broke. Um, I think five of my rods broke. I ended up losing one reel, and Caleb's rods were also on that, so I owe him some rods. He had two. Luckily, he didn't lose any of his reels, um, but I was very upset when that happened. But one of my rods was a custom one from Spotted Dog Custom Rods. Um, you guys have seen those on the channel before. It was named Big Chungus, but I'm kind of looking back at it at the day, I feel like my rods kind of got sacrificed, you know, one of them being named Big Chungus to catch a Big Chungus pike. So, um, kind of a, you know, up and down, like, you know, kind of thing there. So, there was that. And you know what? Seven-year-old could say they caught a 45 and a half inch pike. Really crazy scenario. Um, it was like a group, group effort. Um, me and Caleb got those first two fish on the tip-ups. And, you know, we kept telling M, we're like, hey, next fish is yours, next fish is yours. We probably had four or five different flags go off and just nothing was sticking. Um, and then it was kind of towards the end of the day and uh, we saw another flag go up. And when I see a flag or when I'm fishing, I'm kind of first to the scene. I'm like, oh, I'm getting over there. And um, it was kind of crazy. Everybody's kind of tired at this point and it's so cold. It's kind of hard to film out there a little bit. Um, that's something I'm gonna try and get better at. But uh, I had M sit right next to me and it was just spinning, 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 punching the ice out. And I set that hook and I knew immediately that it was a big fish. Um, I looked over at Jesse and I go, it's a big fish. And yes, I set the hook and I had all the tension, but M, she was there. She was reeling it in with me. It was her fish. We told her it was gonna be her fish. Um, I was joking with her earlier in the day that she was going to get a big one and luckily enough I was able to keep the tension on it good. It did run a little bit as well and just somehow I got it up the hole first try. It was almost effortless honestly and I got it up that hole and Jesse just went in and grabbed it um, with his hands, got his hands in the gills and pulled it up and just crazy fish so it was an overall group effort to get that guy another thing that I'm gonna to try to do for Miss M is submit some of her photos into our local paper and write about it because it's just such a cool experience and I think it'd be so cool for her to not only have the patch certificate and um, the patch as well but kind of a you know newspaper like and kind of like a little glass casing. I know if I was seven and I did something like that and I'm gonna hold on to that for quite a while. Um, you know, I can take pride in knowing that I kind of caught that fish too. Um, I'm sure me and Caleb and whoever I bring along with me over the years, we're gonna catch, you know, many of those monsters. It is kind of a hard thing to do, but, um, if I, I know if I put in the time, I'm going to get another one. But I'm thinking I am going to mount that guy. I took a lot of photos of it. And M, she actually named it Biggie or Big Tom. She named the little ones me and Caleb caught as well. She named one Tommy and she named one George. So I feel like for me, it'd be cool just to have like a mount in my office or something. And just a cool plaque, you know, that says Biggie, Big Tom, and then... Um, I'll also have 
um, big chungus rod that I broke, the tip up that we used, and the hooks as well on there. So that'd be a cool thing for me. So yeah, another cool thing as well. Um, in my last video, my Burba video that I did at the cabin, and we talked about the bear. I we brought Chris's son Jay with us along as well, and then in this video, of course, we had Miss M. And um, you know, there's kind of an enjoyment and showing the younger generation what it's all about. Um, I'm only 23. I don't have kids or anything of my own yet. And, you know, it was just fun to kind of show them um, that fishing is enjoyable, that the outdoors is enjoyable. They both have only been in here in Alaska for about a month now, and they're already doing cool and epic things at their age. Um, I didn't really start fishing until I was like 18, seriously, at least. Um, but you fall in love with it, and that's just something really cool to see, and that's what it's all about. I love spreading the joy of fishing and just outdoors in general. Um, there's just something so um, like warm hearting about it. Um, and like I said, that's what it's all about. Another thing, if you guys are Facebook users and you want to see all kinds of photos and stuff from the trip, um, go check out the Northern Pike page on Facebook. It is run by another family friend, um, Gavin and his wife Chantel. And they actually started a clothing company as well called Northern Pike Clothing Company. Um, they do make pretty cool hoodies and Chantel is a tattoo artist and she designs all the logos and stuff herself. So if you want to see other photos, like I said, go check out the page and... Um, yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed um, such a cool experience for not only me but the people around me and like I said earlier that's what it's all about if you guys could do something for me and hit that subscribe button share the video and leave a like and a comment let me know how you're doing let me know what you thought about that fish let me know what your biggest fish is or your biggest pike is uh, down in the comment section um, tell me about a cool experience that you had but you know um, there's gonna be more to come I'm starting to kind of plan and do a lot more um, cooler things in my opinion collecting more gear um, and just trying to capture cool moments like this so um, if you guys could hit that subscribe button it mean the world to me and uh we'll talk soon i'll see you in the next one peace